Hi guys, um, this video is for beginners and it's a mage build. So why mage build? Um, it's because um, the mage is easy to use. You don't need to cast petrify in order to hit your enemies because um, some enemies here has higher dodge rate and it can drag the fight much longer. So um, mage build is uh, so ideally um, mage build build is um, ideal for beginners because compared to other builds mage build is much cheaper it's due to its higher critical chance because of the arcane mastery found in vitality bloodline okay so basically you only need to improve your critical chance or oh, and I mean critical damage and your magical damage since you're always first uh, first to strike so you can typically end the fight in one shot if it's, it's if it's critical okay so that's how useful the mage build early in the game and it's also a good um, uh, goes, uh, good build for beginners for getting to know the game while steadily progressing into the game So okay, so let's go on to the game. Um, for start, when you're um, leveling, you don't put points. Don't put points uh, on your abilities yet. Save those points to max your um, conjure ability when it it becomes available. Um, in like uh, when you reach level twelve, I think. And secondly, is um since we can't use magic yet um we are going to rely on weapons okay and our weapon is the katana we are going to rely on um the katana's bleed dump effect okay um if you may know um there are five types of weapon here um there's the three main types um like the blunt type uh, and the slash type and the piercing type and there's the other two special type the uh, poison type and and the bleed type which is the katana so that's what we're going to use here the katana it's ideal for um, uh, for us while growing our bloodline by leveling um, we're going to use um, the katana first to improve our bloodline along the way that's for um, our mage build um, by the way don't worry about your ability and bloodline stats as everything can be reset here um, the first reset is free and the second time you reset uh, will cost you a gold piece or shards so um, basically um, the magic build is really good in early game and especially for beginners as like I said earlier as you can also switch in different builds later on in the game as you progress more deeper and with stronger enemies so I think um, the game really um, uh, intended it for um, for beginners or for early stage in the game the mage build so that's it for the mage build I think so on to the game uh, my piece of advice here now is um, just focus on um, getting side quests to uh, get um, XP faster early in the game as it gives more XP uh, the side quests um, after that um, when you're done on your side quest, um, do your main quest, the origin quest, when you have completed all the side quests. So that's really simple <coughs> to do. And by the way, um, in Avan, after you get um, gold, uh, gold piece to buy a weapon, buy, buy the simple katana. It costs like 650 gold piece, I think. <laughs> Um, if there's no simple katana in Avan market, try to buy the genuine um, katana 
also in the market it's like 380 plus gold piece or something like that um, I'm, not, I'm not sure uh, but you can uh, it's either you buy that uh, simple katana or genuine katana so <coughs> so um, that's <coughs> for the um, weapon um, it's important to buy uh, that the uh, that weapon the simple katana or the genuine katana so moving on um, after you uh, or when you're about to battle baso for the first time right um, before battling baso in avan buy the blessed shield first you need the blessed shield to improve your um, armor and also um, one piece of armor like if you have an extra 110 G, uh, G like gold piece you can buy another armor um, uh, along with the blessed shield I think your uh, money would be enough for that so that's uh, what you're going to buy to survive uh, to win Vasos fight okay buy uh, buy the blessed shield <coughs> it's like 290g gold piece and the remaining gold would be if you have 110 gold left or 200 at least at least buy one armor um, that's the chest piece it's uh, I forgot the name of the chest piece just buy the 110g to increase your armor <coughs> okay then after Vaso um, we're going um, our next um, origin quest is to go to Kamingrad okay so for tips here um, on Kamingrad is the same thing um, it's the same from uh, like in Avan so try to do the side quest first before finishing any origin quest in Kamingrad like in Avan like what we do what what what, what we did in Avan okay <coughs> so um oh by the way um you need to finish the master hunter side quest in Avan to unlock the master master the hunt side quest in Kamingrad so that's the master hunt master the hunt side quest in Avan guys so if you haven't um, defeated the uh, uh, final uh, master the hunt side quest in Avan uh, you won't get the uh, master the hunt side quest in Kamingrad so it's important it's important to get that um, side quest because it gives us um, big XP more XP so we can to level up our mage build um, our bloodline so every XP is important every X XP counts here so that's uh, that's um, I'm just saying so that's it for um, uh, reminders on the coming grad and the tips for coming grad it's typically the same thing uh, once you get uh, to the uh, new new place uh, new city um, get all the side quests and then after the side quest get the origin quest so and repeat so just like that guys it's re it's really simple as long as you get the uh, right weapon and um, right build uh, build up um, you're good to uh, you're good to go okay about the brutals guys um, you can do the brutal later on in the game when your level is um, enough like um level let's say level 50 um or above um i think it would be enough it, um it would be a uh, good good to start uh hunting the brutals or maybe do do it my way <laughs> um like um i finish i begin the i begin hunting for brutals uh after i finish the witch master guys so um, it's it's really I'm um, setting my priority prioritize first so my prioritize is um, like doing all the side quests that I can before finishing 
any origin quest on um, each uh, any cities that I go right so that's it that's my first prioritize and my my last prioritize of course is the brutal so that's that's all for the brutals guys um tips so when you're done with all these tips and advice your character should look like this um similar to <coughs> to mine <coughs> so um this is my second character by the way and it's uh, it's my personal experiment it's my experimental character okay so <coughs> by the way don't forget to buy the sanguine sanguine dirt on uh, coming grad uh, later um, it has a critical damage 27% and spell damage of 26% 26.5 so uh, my gloves uh, my gloves would be the demonic gauntlet that's um, I bought this on a uh, second map second map um, in um, I think in Gordova I'm not so sure um, my boots is um, great boots of glory <coughs> um, I choose the great boots uh, for item drops that's plus 27% and the dodge uh, the dodge rate uh, of 12% and my shield is uh, shield the shield of justice um, I bought this on um, in um, the hut uh, the mangrove hut in this uh, yeah, on the second map so that's 32k 30,000 and my pants and my um, armor plate armor is um, I didn't bought both of them um, I just bought the gloves uh, at, the, at the boots the gloves and the um, shield for my armor so this character character's total armor is um, um, 736 total armor uh, the dodge is 46% shield block is 38% so that's my inventory here. Oh, by the way, my great ruby ring I bought uh, in the mangrove hut as well. That's 13k, 700. Um, this great azurite ring is from the East Haven. Um, yes, East Haven for 8,797. And my lesser azure necklace, uh, it's unique for 12,847. Uh, I, uh, I bought this necklace in i think it's in iron hold iron hold on the second one so this is our um, equipment after we're done <coughs> and after we're level um this is level 66 yes it's level 66 and this is our um bloodline um our ability is like this uh conjure max but swarm max and backstab max um, eventually you uh, we will max all our abilities later on so <laughs> for mage build you just prioritize the <coughs> the conjure to max then the bite next next is the bite and then the third a prioritize is 45 for your armor um, your defense so on our bloodline is um, it's like this um, on this seat bloodline we have this um, I got the XP fever to max and this extra packet to max as well and the backpacker after that my shield uh, shield mastery is max and my range defender is also max um, the only thing that is not max here is uh, on my DC uh, bloodline is the greater dodge because um, we're still low on levels and <laughs> this character is still young and on our uh, vitality bloodline we have of course arcane damage to max um, arcane mastery is also max i have invested two points on vamp vampiric touch and on the focus the only thing that is max on my focus is the maximum focus that's 25 points here and these two the improved regen and the starting focus 
I only uh, put 18 points here on both because um, I can I, I can still manage so that's why I just put um, 18 points here on my improved focus legend and my focus mind. Same here on refreshing combo. I it, it's it's not max. It <coughs> it's 13 out of 15. So I'm lacking two points on refreshing combo. And that's it for our vitality. Our anger anger bloodline is like this. Our hard precise hitter is max. Uh, on 30 points that will give us a critical hit damage of plus 60 percent and our precise hitter our critical hit rate um, is not max it only has 12 points out of 20 it's because we don't have that enough points yet since we're just still level 66 and that's it for our bloodline and abilities here uh, by the way the legendary bloodline is like this um, don't worry too much about um, your uh, legendary bloodline abilities because eventually when you play the game you will you will unlock all this uh, bloodline ability by means of dungeon so sometimes the dungeon uh, drops uh, bloodline abilities uh, but I don't know what dungeon it is <laughs> um, you can visit the uh, discord uh, channel for more uh, if you ask yeah, for more um, question if you want so that's our um, bloodline here and our inventory so I think that's it for this um, video guide here guys so um, thank you for watching and as always um, thank you for the love and support and peace out